a supersized slice of pizza. And I do mean supersized. I'm gonna form the big slice right now and I'm using my foolproof pizza dough. It never ever fails me. Let me tell you how to make this. I got salt and flour into the mixer, turned it on low, poured in olive oil, and active dry yeast dissolved in warm water. Then when everything was mixed, formed it into a ball in an olive oil smeared bowl, covered it with plastic wrap, let it rise for an hour, then stashed the dough in the fridge. This dough is the best and it's so easy to shape into whatever shape you want. I'm literally forming it into the shape of a big slice of pizza. Emphasis on big. This is basically going to be a whole pizza. It's just not going to be round or oval like my pizzas usually are. It's in the shape of a pizza slice. Okay, I think that looks great. I'm totally convinced. I think the boys will be too. So now I'm going to grate up some fontina cheese. <laughs> Bubble! Oh! Ah! Oh! Touchdown! Okay, I'm gonna put the toppings on the pizza. This ought to be fun. I'll start with just jarred marinara sauce. How fun would it be to have a pizza party and make three or four different slices of pizza like this? Put different toppings on them. I think that would be such a fun idea. Now, I wanna leave the sauce off of the end because it's supposed to look like the pizza crust but I want to get it all the way to the edges because I want it to look like I basically cut a huge slice of pizza. Okay, that's enough sauce. So I'll put on a layer of mozzarella slices. Sometimes with pizza, fresh mozzarella can get a little bit watery, so I'm kind of sticking with the supermarket stuff. And you can just tear the pieces as you need to to fit them on there. And then Fontina comes next. Fontina on pizza is scrumptious. It is so flavorful and creamy. Now I've got some Romano cheese, and I'm not gonna sprinkle on too much. This is a little bit sharper and more flavorful than Parmesan. Since this is a supersized slice of pizza, say that fast three times, I'm gonna use supersized pepperoni. Okay, now this is a little bit risky, but I'm just gonna go for it anyway. I've got a little goat cheese. I'm not gonna put too much on. I'm just gonna find little places. I wanna have a taste of this pizza, and I happen to love goat cheese on pizza, so. <laughs> I think that's all the goat cheese I'm gonna use. Okay, it's gonna go into a 500 degree oven on the lowest rack for about 20 minutes, and I'll watch it to make sure the crust doesn't burn. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Who's hungry? Me! I am. All right. <laughs> Go for score. Hey, boys. Oh, Would you like a boy. slice of pizza? It's like a yes. big old single slice. <laughs> I know. So, Mason, this one's yours. All right. And I've got four more coming. <laughs> Just kidding. Are you guys hungry? Uh, yes, sir. Yes, yes. hungry. I was watching you guys play out there. It was making me tired. Except Mason? Water oh, Mason took off. Mason. Bye, Mason. Bye, guys. <laughs> I think he's ready to eat. <laughs> oh, gosh. There's just no time for conversation with you guys. Thank you. You're welcome. Todd, you're going to wind up with a huge piece here. There you go, son. All right. Aw, thanks. I love those boys.